Stephanie Langston for Y'all Wire in Nashville at Gaylord Opryland, where we're taking you inside Lori Morgan's Enchanted Dinner and Show. Come on, it's lovely where the first layer are together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you. Come on, it's lovely where the first layer are together with you. Lori, I read that you said planning this show was like planning a wedding. Can you talk about all that you put into it? Is it really that stressful? <laughs> really, I promise it is. Um, because it's, it is like, you know, the, you know how you, when you plan a wedding, it's like nothing's really done and all of a sudden at the last minute, it just kind of comes together. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that's what happens because <laughs> we had some glitches last night during, you know, the last rehearsal and there was some glitches today, but, you know, hopefully it'll just kind of iron itself out. And it really is stressful because it's, you know, you're creating something that you want people to enjoy and, and think is beautiful. So hopefully... Uh, we've, we've done that. What have you done to make it more than a performance? Make it a you know, show? You I, know, I, I, more, more than a performance, I, I'm a very personal person. So I want the audience to feel like they're in, in my living room and they're, they're listening to stories of why I like these Christmas songs that I've picked out. And um, it's about my family. I have pictures of my family all over the piano and the fireplace. And um, it truly is, um, it's, it's for my pleasure as well as theirs. Well, I know you said Christmas is like your favorite time of the year. Did you ever expect to spend it all at Gaylord? <laughs> I never did. <laughs> never. It's probably going to be a little bit different for you than it your is. traditional Christmas. It is. It is. Matter of fact, I was talking to my daughter today, and she's like, so we don't get to do the Christmas dinner thing and the uh, Thanksgiving thing. I said, we were going to do it the 26th of December. We're having our Christmas. and. So it's going to be a little different for us this year, but you know, hey, change is good. Or you could leave them tickets at the door. They're coming tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're coming tonight. Good thing. But they don't get any gifts tonight. No gifts. Save <laughs> no. those. No. Well, um, I know you also just released your first Christmas single. I did. R ever? Yeah, ever. Wrapped up in Christmas. Ever. Wrapped up in love. In love. Wrapped up in love. And I'm so excited. We're going to be doing it every night. We have it um, at our concessions. And... Um, so I'm really excited about it. I mean, it's my first Christmas single ever, and it's real upbeat. It's kind of flirtatious and fun, and uh, hopefully it'll become one of those tradition songs that people want to play every year at Christmas. You toured with Pam Tillis recently. You guys have also jumped into the studio a little bit, and you're working on an album as well. We are. We are. Uh, we just finished our album. It's not totally complete uh, mixing and mastering and all that, but... Um, it's a great album. There's like four singles for Pam, four singles for me, and then we did four duets together. It's going to be a great album, and we're excited about it. We've been touring all over promoting it, and can't wait for the first single on that to come out. You guys are just good buds, huh? You have a real connection are, with one another. We are. We are. You know, we just realized that, I think, over the last couple years, how, how, how much we have in common and how close we've become. Um, and it's good to have a uh, comrade in this in this uh, industry that understands you, you know. Right. Well, I look forward to hearing what Thank you guys you. create, and you're going to be here at Gaylord through the 25th. Through the 25th of December. All right. We'll see you then. These wonderful things are the things.